In getting to know the first-year players at UConn, let's start in alphabetical order with Richie Ashmead. A 6'2 and a half guard from Queens Village, New York, he was rated among the top 75 high school players in the country his senior year. He brings an average of 19 points and six assists per game to stores. I always try to work as hard as I can on defense and offense. I try to let my offense come to me. I don't really try to rush my shots. I just try to do the right things on the court. Another guard, Brian Fair, comes to stores from Phoenix, Arizona. The Arizona High School Player of the Year was rated one of the top 50 recruits in the country last year. Fair is considered an outstanding athlete with three-point shooting range. My strength is outside shooting. Uh, I can shoot the ball from pretty far out, and I think that's my strength so far. Defensively? Defensively, uh, I'm real athletic, so I can help on things, but I still need to try to play with the same intensity throughout the whole game. The high school player of the year in the state of Florida was UConn freshman Rudy Johnson. Rated among the top 100 prospects in the nation, he has tremendous ability to leap. A small forward, Johnson and guard Jeff Calhoun have both battled early injuries. Calhoun is out for the year as a red shirt, but Rudy Johnson should be back in full stride very soon. Right now, I'm just trying to, you know, get my head together and get therapy in and work my way back on the court and uh, try to get some playing time. It's been tough so far, but, uh, you know, I, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to get back in shape and then eventually start practicing with the team later this year. A fleet-footed forward from Federal Way, Washington, Donnie Marshall adds an extra dimension to this UConn team. Fast and strong, he should fit in well in the Jim Calhoun up-tempo game. Marshall averaged 26 points per game in his senior year of high school. He's optimistic about what's to come in his career as a Husky. The level of play, the competitiveness, you know, just uh, throughout the whole team, you know, it's 100% it's tough. That's all it is. That's all you can say about it. You know, this is, this is the Big East, Connecticut Huskies. I don't think there's any, any uh, better, better program in the country. When the season ended last year, UConn found themselves without a quick forward. In comes Danielle Marshall. Already named the Newcomer of the Year in the Big East, he was the Pennsylvania High School Player of the Year last year. He was rated by Basketball Times among the top 10 best prep players in the country one year ago. The coach he recruited me to come here and play right away. I mean, you know, that's, I came here, I felt that if he has confidence in me, then that's how I'll do all right. UConn basketball fans will probably see a lot from guard Kevin Ollie this year. From Crenshaw High School in Los Angeles, he follows names like Marcus Johnson and Daryl Strawberry from that school. A quick, outstanding, penetrating guard, he could fill a hole for UConn. He's a confident player, and that confidence comes from home. You got to have a strong mind, and plus I have my mother back there where I can just call, dial a, <laughs> dial a number and call her, and then she can always lift me up after bad practice, after bad game, because she's a great woman, and she lifts me up and just bring my spirit and keep me motivated. The big man of the group is also alphabetically the last. Natambu Willingham is affectionately known as Boo to the team. A talented big man, he's being called on to provide some death in the middle. Boo averaged 17 points and 13 rebounds per game in high school while leading his team to a 26-4 record his senior year. I would just like to come in and contribute whatever I can, you know. I know I won't be a sudden impact right now, you know, my first year, but I just want to do whatever coach wants me to do. And, you know, most of the time that's just playing hard and doing the little things that counts. Add these eight to players like Chris Smith, Rod Sellers, and Torino Walker, and the possibility for good times are ahead.